Well, hello YouTube. I know there's a lot of Ranger fans out there. I thought I'd want to show this one to you guys. Uh, it's a 1994 Ranger XLT two-wheel drive. Uh, it has the big four-liter motor in there, uh, which is really rare. And the way I got it was my buddy had actually come by a couple months ago and started talking about selling his 90-year-old grand or his 90-year-old mother's uh, Ranger. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I was looking for something sort of like this, and I know they're real good trucks and. When I heard it was a four liter, I was very interested because I, I, I don't like the little four banger. They're, they're a little too slow for me. But um, yeah, the, the real kicker on this baby though is the mileage. When she bought it, she left it in a, under a tree for a good 20 years. And as of right now, it's got 24,181. Uh, when I bought it, it had about 22,000, a little over 22,000 miles. And as you can tell, the interior is pretty much untouched. The seats, which I really am happy about, there is very little wear at all. And that's because the guy had a, like uh, seat covers made by his mother. And they fit right over the seats and for 20 years they were on there and um, I need to do a vacuum on it but as you can see the original floor mats it's an automatic of course um, and what you see there is a sticker that is usually pulled off as soon as the purchaser of the truck buys the vehicle and it's still on there which I found quite interesting and this here is the dash cover that I believe he bought when he purchased the truck for his mom at the dealer in 1994 and I've yet to take it off just because I don't really want to mess with it but I'm sure if I did the uh, the dash would be in perfect condition and there's the back still got the little netting in there that's that's common for them to actually sag like that, even if they're not used, just because of the heat. There's little jumper seats. I actually put all new speakers in it because they were all blown from just age. And um, there's the headliner, which is, it's got some marks on it, but as far as, as far as the sagging goes, it's, uh, there was just a bee that was about to sting my ass. And he's messing with me right now. Oh, come on, buddy. But anyway, it's in really good shape. I had to put new tires on it because the tires that were on there were 13 years old. And uh, it's got Futura Super Sports on there. It's a 225-70-14. These are 14-inch rims, which are really hard to find nowadays. Uh, really hard to find the tires. I actually found them at Pet Boys, believe it or not. Found two at one shop and then two more at another. And uh, as far as the the paint goes, it's it's in perfect condition, near perfect, especially compared to any other Rangers this year. You just don't find them with this low mileage. And, uh, well, yeah. Even has the little mud flaps and the chrome tip muff flaps on there. I thought that was so cool when I saw that. But I'm going to go around here. See, it's got a little tiny ding right there. Had the factory bed liner put in at the factory in 1994. Go ahead and just start it up just for kicks. Like I said, this is the four liter. This is the big motor. It's the biggest motor they had in Rangers at, at that time. And uh, yeah, it still has the original tape deck, which I've yet to replace just because it works just fine. But uh, I may put a 
a CD player with an auxiliary just because the speakers don't really put out as much as they could. But uh, yeah, this is the original dealer tag. It's a mocha frost metallic paint with a mocha cloth interior. It's the long wheelbase. You got the the optional four liter engine, which was an extra seven hundred bucks. And uh, yeah, built in Twin Cities, Houston, Texas, was uh, the dealership that had the vehicle. And uh, I thought that was pretty cool when it came with that. Which also, of course, it it has the original booklet that came with it which I thought it was quite interesting too most of the time you don't see those anymore I'm gonna just show the engine real quick Quite, quite clean for a 94. I had to put new plugs and wires in there because you know, 20 year old plugs and wires, you don't want to deal with that. Uh, I did a headlight restore on the headlights because they're all yellowy and cloudy just like most Rangers that this year. Even sitting under a tree, it's, you know, it wears it out. As of right now, no leaks at all, no rear main seal leaks, anything like that. Uh, it actually had a fuel leak at the time from the fuel filler neck, even though it was rarely ever used. I had to put a new new filler neck. Uh, had to take the bed off to get to it and took care of that. And the uh, vacuum modulator for the transmission had to be replaced because it was sucking transmission fluid into the intake. But, uh, other than that, it's, it runs great. It has it's like a bat out of hell. It'll roast the back tires easy just from a standstill. Very rare on a Ranger. So I you know, hope you guys liked it. And let me know what you think. Have any things I should add to it, or I'll just leave it alone. I feel just kind of like leaving it alone. But thanks for watching. Y'all take care.